Sharif, and I'll be presenting on Macrobid, also known as nitrofrantoin. So nitrofrantoin is an antibacterial that is reduced by a bacterial enzyme called uh, nitroreductase. The medication works by binding to bacterial ribosome and impairs the synthesis of protein, DNA, and RNA, which then leads to cell death. It is effective against gram-positive, for example, uh, enterococ um, enterococci, staphylococcus aureus, epidermidis, and for the gram-negatives like E. coli, cytobacter, Neisseria, and Bacteroides. It is available in capsule form in 25, 50, and 100 milligram, and extended release capsules as 100 milligram, and suspension of 25 milligram per ml. So important considera considerations before taking these medications. So consider local uh, ep epidemiology and sus susceptibility reports in conjunction with results of cultures from the patients uh, when selecting a therapy in order to reduce the development of drug resistance and maintain effective therapy. Not shown to be efficacious in systematic infections in blood or tissue other than urinary tract. Do not initiate therapy of history of jaundice, liver problems, or severe kidney disease. Pregnancy category C and is contra contraindicated at term. Uh, do not breastfeed or discontinue this medication since it's distributed through milk. So some of the common side effects are nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and brown discoloration of urine. So contraindications to this medication are if there's a known hypersensitivity to nitrofrantoins or its ingredients, small amounts, for example, less than 400 ml uh, per day, or no urine production, renal impairment consisting of curtain clearance less than 60 ml per minute, or uh, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase or 6, uh, G6PD deficiency, pregnant women at term, and newborn less than a month old. The medications would be contraindicated for all these populations. So for drug interaction, this drug is rapidly excreted in bile and urine mostly by diffusion. Short sure elimination, half-life, and no evidence of binding to plasma or tissue. Antiacids decrease the absorption and should not be administered with this medication. Probenicid may inhibit renal excretion and lead to an increased concentration of nitrofurantoin in the body. So general precaution while on this medication, the medication is to treat a bacterial infection and not a viral infection like common cold. It is very important that a full course of the therapy be completed, even if the patient is feeling better after a few days. This will ensure that a therapy is fully efficacious and prevent uh, drug resistance in, for the future. Take with food to improve drug absorption and tolerance. Do not use antacids, especially ones containing magnesium trilogate. Uh, take, take another dose or as soon as you remember in case, if a missed, in case of a missed dose, unless it's time for the next dose. So for medication indication, it's commonly indicated for urinary tract infection which is characterized by presence of uh, bacteria in the urine more than, um, you know, in a, in, 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 caught in the midstream sample and with clinical symptoms. Infection in the bladder are known, infection in the bladder are known as lower UTIs and the ones in, involving kidney or ureter are called upper UTI infections. Lower UTI symptoms are increased urine uh, frequency, urgency, and discomfort during urination. And as far as upper UTI symptoms, they involve the lower UTI symptoms plus fever, flank pain, or nausea and vomiting. Females are actually at higher risk um, for UTIs due to shorter urethra and the distance between other genital regions. So general dosage for urinary tract infection. For adults, it's recommended that 100 milligram 
two times a day for a five-day therapy. However, the manufacturer also recommends a 50 milligram four times a day for a seven-day for uncomplicated infection as well. Uh, Long-term therapy with 50 to 100 milligram once daily at bedtime might be recommended in some cases for a suppressive therapy. Uh, dual release therapy of 100 milligram every 12 hours for seven days is recommended, uh, especially for children more than 12 years of age. For children of one month or older, uh, it's recommended to be initiated as five to seven milligram per case daily in four divided doses for seven days. Uh, one mix per cake daily in a single dose is recommended for a long-term therapy uh, per the manufacturer. So some of the special population, for example, ge uh, geriatric population. So people 65 or older with no experience and with previous therapy of nitroferritone respond poorly. Also increased risk of pulmonary reactions uh, leading to, uh, in some, some cases, death has also been observed as compared to younger patients. This might be due to a need for long-term therapy in those populations, in the older population. So for as in cases of renal impairment, uh, increased risk of uh, peripheral neuritis observed in uh, this population. Uh, close monitoring is recommended in cases of long-term therapy and renal impairment or creatinine clearance um, less than 16 mLs per minute is not recommended. And here are my references. Thank you very much.